Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got a latest look at earnings from ASML, that very important maker of semiconductor equipment. I'm Corey Johnson with the Futurum Group, and Chief Market Strategist there. And ASML earnings just so very important for the semiconductor sector. Uh, second quarter earnings, they were good. They beat the estimates on Wall Street, and yet the stock is down. So what good are the estimates on Wall Street, I ask you? Uh, look, let's look at the numbers, what they actually tell us about this company. So ASML, they supply the lithography machines that are essential to manufacturing semiconductors used by uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, Samsung, Intel, and others. They booked, uh, now we're gonna talk in euros here, they booked 5.57 billion euros in the quarter. That's about $6 billion. The peg rate's about $1.09 right now. So you can imagine euros is just a slightly weaker dollar. Anyway, um, uh, so euros, uh, they, they built a 5.57 billion in the quarter. Strong quarter, but their bookings and, and their forecasts going forward were a little less than Wall Street expected. So when we look a little bit deeper into the numbers, um, their net sales in the quarter, $6.2 billion. Uh, as I mentioned, their bookings uh, below that. Their net system sales, so that's the selling of the actual devices that they sell, 4.8 billion euros, I said dollars, I meant euros. Um, and their gross margins, fantastic, 52% for hardware and, uh, and some services, a lot of services. Um, but again, the bookings uh, of 5.6 billion was seen as disappointing. But really, although beat at Wall Street estimates, sales were down 10% in a year-over-year -year, uh, basis. And so you wonder, is this really an AI bust? I mean, there was supposed to be fantastic boom in AI driving all semiconductor sales. You'd think the leading manufacturer of equipment wouldn't be down 10% in a year-over-year -year basis, but it was in terms of sales. When we look a little bit deeper, and here's the real concern, China buys lots of semiconductor equipment from this company, this leading company, despite bans on the ability to sell their best EUV devices. They can't sell those to China. And there are hints, we heard some reporting this week from Bloomberg and others, that the Biden administration is going to, in fact, uh, make it even more difficult for ASML both to sell stuff and to service the stuff that they've sold. Now, we look at the growth of, of China as a percentage of their sales and the shrinkage across the rest of the world. But when you look at the China numbers alone, uh, these are really uh, demonstrably different than they were before. A billion euros six quarters ago, well over 3 billion, 3.059 billion euros in the most recent quarter that they just reported. So China's buying everything they can from ASML, even if it's not the best stuff. And so as a result, when you look at the rest of the world, it really is about China versus the rest of the world with that 49% of revenues uh, going to China, um, or coming from China, I should say. And while system sales uh, continue to dominate this business, it's important to note that 24% of the revenues is servicing machines that are already out there. ASML machines never go away. They're just, the older machines are used for uh, making chips that are not at the cutting edge. And China has surely showed a focus in that, really again, wanting to get whatever machines they could and make whatever chips they can for the global market. Now, uh, prices per machine at 47.6 million euro per machine increasing uh, gently over time, although they were down in the quarter. Well, how did the stock react? It got clobbered, down 12% after the numbers came out. And that's after about a 35% increase in the last year. And again, a disappointing quarter last quarter, three months ago, which we reported right here on the drill down earnings. So we heard from the CEO and he said, don't worry, when we look forward, the same drivers of the past will be the drivers in the future. When it comes to demand and our business beyond 2024, we expect as we discussed in previous quarters, that the overall semiconductor inventory levels will continue to improve. We also see today further improvement in little tool utilization levels at both logic and memory customer. While there are still uncertainties in the market, primarily driven by the macro environment, we expect a continued industry recovery in the second half of 2024. We currently see strong development in artificial intelligence driving most of the industry recovery and growth ahead of other market segments. Based on discussion with our customer and supported by our strong backlog, we currently expect 2025 to be a strong year driven by a number of factors as mentioned last quarter. The secular growth driver in the semiconductor end market are still very much intact. So Christoph Forquette there uh, with the outlook here saying that don't worry, things will get better eventually. 
The market doesn't care about eventually, it cares about right now, and that's why the stock is down. But what's it all mean? What's our big takeaway? The thing we want to remember about drill down earnings on ASML. We're going to have that and the number, the bite, the one number that tells us a whole lot right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So ASML just reported Q2 earnings, uh, the essential summary of what you need to know. Uh, the company had revenues that were down 10% on a year-over-year -year basis, uh, 6.2 billion euro. Um, and within that, 4.8 billion in system sales. But really the number to, to take away, the thing that means a whole lot here, is the percentage of sales to China. And it was 49% of revenues for ASML. So despite the bans on their best equipment, from both the EU and from the US. Uh, they're still selling a lot of their other equipment to China, which makes them more heavily reliant on China than they have been uh, in the past, uh, right there at 49% of revenues like last quarter. All right, thanks for checking out Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check me out on X at Corey TV, on TikTok and Instagram at, at Instagram at Drill Down Pod, I said, and of course, on Futurum's YouTube channel, Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.